as this video goes on to YouTube, there is about 21 hours until the Dusk and Dawn event comes to a close. So let's just talk a bit. What is going on guys and welcome one and all to the final video I am ever talking about related to, you guessed it, the Dusk and Dawn event. Now for those of you who don't know, tomorrow is when the event ends. So if you haven't gotten that backdrop, which I have, the Dusk and Dawn uh, banner for your profile, claim it, get it now with strategies from other, no, we have different strategies. Uh, I haven't got strategies because I'm only going to show you my best attempt. That's all. So, uh, because of these, there are a few clips I still have to go forward though. In this video, it's going to show off the remaining chests that we didn't pick up during the story event. The missions you can see, my best attempt at getting through the militia challenges. Uh, excuse me. And my best run of the trial. Here are... Sorry about the most absurd, absurd cut I'm putting here. It's just that... After I recorded the intro for this video, it's just that I ate lunch before I recorded, and sometimes it just causes gas and causes my body to be a bit stupid. Anyway, here it is. The content you're here to watch. Just a quick heads up before continuing the video with Corey's quiz. Those aren't the only questions. There's a whole bunch of randomly generated questions in a questionnaire pool. That's what I like to call it. 
But I'm not going to go ahead and show all of them, because let's face it, I'm not here to do your homework for ya! Surprise! <gasps> I win.
a label, stick a label on me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. So that's all the missions that you could do around Tabaton. Or at least like four of the militia challenges. I don't know how many militia challenges there are in total because A, I lost interest after a certain period of time because let's face it, if you're doing the same challenge over and over again just to get event XP, it kind of gets a bit boring over time. Which is why I stopped at four because let's face it. Or at level four because... All I was getting was event XP over and over again, and I just grew bored and bored and bored. So, yeah, that's why I didn't. I'm not showing off the rest of it because I don't want to get full on bored. But what isn't boring is this. Here is my best run in the trials. So yeah, this is the trial that I got, and as you can see, you need to get EX for the border. Which I kind of find bogus, in my opinion. Like, come on! How are you supposed to, like, you're getting all these rewards, and you put a border as proof that you did well as EX. I've never achieved the EX rank before, but I did get a recommendation of a strategy. I'm going to leave a link in the description to that person's video, because they've done that as well. Anyways, here is the outro to the video. Now, <clears throat> uh, how many times must I have to eat lunch before I do a video of some form? So, there you have it. The last video I am doing of 
Dislights Dusk and Dawn event. It has finally drawn to a close. For at least until tomorrow. So if you haven't gotten yourself the banner, there might be a link in the description below. I don't know. We'll find out. Also, I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes up, it might be a bit too late. But there was an event where it was the reunion for characters who, for players who rejoin Discord, not Discord, Dislike, and get a special code. Sadly, I got zero. Because I have zero friends, in reality, who play Dislight. <laughs> yes, that is true. Here in Australia, I don't have a single friend who plays video games that is related to Dislight. And even if I showed them this, they're just gonna go, it's just a gotcha game. What's so special about it? Well, that would be true. However, I'm afraid this video must end, and I just want to say that this was probably a good event. Now, there were a few downsides to this event, aka like the snake fangs. There was higher difficulties in the militia challenges, but you're capped at a max amount of snake teeth for the whole event. Yes, there's a picture on screen too, so yeah. That's the max amount of teeth you can have in this event, which I kind of find a bit disappointing because if I could get a lot more snake teeth, I would progress through the story. Or well, not the story. I would progress through these militia challenges with ease. But if it's just for XP, it's just a bit boring. Like, it gets boring after you've gone through the event, through the militia challenges, like maybe 5 or 10, possibly 20 times, and then it just gets boring over time. The more you do it, the more bored you get. It's just like me. But, even though that's the case, I'm afraid that someone has opened up a fridge, because I just heard a beep beep sound effect. But I'm afraid we must call this video quits. It's a good event, just not a, the best one. If I were to put this grade, I'd say the best event that the developers have made, it's probably the one with Tang Juan in it. What one was it? Uh, it was the event that introduced Young Chuan. Oh, I forgot the name. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. It's the... Truth Unveiled event. It was the best event, because you get to farm XP and tons of things. Well, not farm XP, you know. It was like the best one of them all. The second place is probably the Static Shock event, and maybe third place, the Lone Star event. Now, I think for this, the Dusk and Dawn event, probably due to its appearance, it's probably taking up fourth place. So don't worry, this is still a good event. I mean, all these events have at least done something great, like tugging heartstrings, or doing something that impresses people. But, even if that's the case, all good things do still end eventually, like this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. As per usual, if you enjoy this type of content I do, hit the like button down below and subscribe. If you have subscribed, hit the bell icon and please leave a comment down below. And, as always, I will see you all in a future video of Dislike X Hertz Radio. Goodbye for now.